and welcome. Today's video is going to be a quick video. A user named Alex56MA just let me know something pretty important and how I screwed up. Uh, the last video where I suggested doing the iBus to Arduino on the wiki or whatever about the uh, firmware mod, it says it can't do PPM uh, 8 channels, it can only go up to 6 but he actually tried it where I never bothered to try it and I do apologize for that. So if you're happy with just eight channels and you want to use your FlySky remote with the firmware hack for the um, F6i6, what you can do is um, just use the PPM output and then you'll be able to use your switches here and these guys here. Honestly, I don't know if channel 9 and 10 work as well through PPM. It's not supposed to. It was only supposed to go up to six channels. But anyways, uh, through PPM, you don't have to do the Arduino thing if you have uh, this receiver here, which is really good because then you don't have to order the 10 channel. Most people wouldn't use it anyways, unless you want to use these guys here for like landing gear and stuff like that. Anyways, I'll just show you how to hook it up quickly. All right, so it's easy to hook up. Just hook up the one into PPM with white at the top. This cable here on this side just plugs into the APM on the input side for number one, white at the top. And then if you don't have a jumper, just make yourself up one of these cables here. You can still use one of these three ones too and just loop the white wire back into the, num the number two spot and just put it sideways. But I'll just use this guy here if I can get it in. So this guy would go into number two, and this other end would go into number three, and that would put the uh, APM into PPM mode. And then on the original CX-20 with the USB on the right side, this would be the front of it, so I'm gonna turn it this way, and then you would remove your other cables here coming from your receiver, and then this guy gets plugged here at the end, like that, and then the jumper, gets plugged into number two and number three, just like the APM 2.6. All right, so with using PPM, you still have to use the uh, mission planner settings like I showed in my other video. So I'm just gonna cheat. I'm gonna show a quick glimpse of that just so you guys understand how to set up your gimbals. All right, I'll just show you the settings on the remote as well quickly. So just uh, hold okay, go to system, go down to RX setup, and then PPM, PPM output, click OK once, and then change it to on just by moving up and down. And you'll want to set that to on, hold OK. Or I mean hold cancel, and then now it's saved. And then the same thing goes for your old mixing and everything, and everything should work the same in Mission Planner. So now you will have these two and the gimbals. All right, so push OK. Go to setup, go to aux channels, this time for channel 5, change it to SWB plus C, change 6 to none, this time for 7, change it for VR, or SW, oops, change it, VRA, and for 8, for VRB. All right, this time hold the uh, cancel button to save it. Go into endpoints. This is up to you, you can do it other ways as well, but I found this is the best way for me at least. And you'll want to go down to channel 5, change it to 70% and 80%. To get to this side is sometimes tricky. You have to hold these two down sometimes to get to that side to change it. But anyways, that's the settings here. So in Mission Planner, I'll show you that. Connect to Mission Planner. And now with the remote, turn it on, 
Now you should see radio 7 and radio 8 move when you're in radio calibration. Like that. And the dip switches should move for only radio 5. Like that. So to set up the gimbals now, we're going to have to use the outputs for 7 and 8 on the APM. If you have um, an octo, I guess this step-by-step uh, -step is useless to you. It has to be, you have to have some extra ports on the APM left over. So go into optional hardware, go to camera gimbal, set the tilt to RC7, and then the input here, change it to RC7. For roll, change it to RC8, and change this one to RC8. So what that'll do now on the APM, see if I can get in there, try flipping this guy around this way now. So it's not going to be totally perfect here, but what you'll want to do is plug in your gimbal wires for your CX-20 now, right at the top, into 8 and 7. There's one extra step on this APM. I'm just oddly going to jump into the video here and just show you in a little bit better detail what I'm talking about with the two ports. So on the APM 2.6 for using the No 5.6 hex, you want to use 7 and 8. If you're using the CX-20 two gimbal wires, it's the white at the top. But for this purpose, I'm just using these kind of um, servos. So the orange wire on this would be your switch. So it plugs into number eight like that. And this guy would plug into number seven. And now you'll be able to control it. On this APM, with the USB, with the uh, factory APM, with USB on this side, these are your outputs on the back and they're upside down. So with the original cable coming from the CX-20 gimbal wires, the two white ones, the white would be on the bottom. So it'd be yellow, orange is your switch. So this one would go on this corner for number eight. And your other gimbal wire would go on number seven. Like that. All right, back into the video I go like that and because I'm not uh, using the original APM I don't have 5 volts on this because I removed JP1 so I'm just going to be plugging in this B cable into one of the ports don't do this <laughs> but I'm just going to power up the rail for this test purpose here if you have normal gimbals on the bottom then you don't have to do this Let's see if I can get that in there alright so now with this remote should be able to control both of them if I can get that one so there's that for this side here so that's how you would have to connect it for that because now you can no longer use the output 5 and 6 get back in mission planner for flight modes. I'm not going to really show you guys how to do it because you can set it up the way you want to. But now, when you flick, so now when you flick through these, it'll change here to the settings you want. And uh, you have six of them now to change. So on the CX20, usually this one does nothing. So what you'll probably want to do is change this one just to stabilize and then change that one to stabilize or just leave it as stabilized. And then this one would be whatever you want it to be, usually loiter. And then this one down here would be return to home. Back 
can find it. Return to land. One, one. I guess I'm showing you anyways. It's stabilized in simple mode. And one, two is alt bowl, I believe. I might have that wrong. But anyways, just showing you that they all actually all do work with my setup at least and save your modes. So if you have the IA6B and you did the firmware update, just use PPM if you're happy with just the eight channels. Right guys, uh, sorry about the other video. It is helpful, I think, if you do need the 10 channels, hopefully still, so I'll just leave it up anyways. And again, thank you, Alex, for uh, messaging me and uh, making me look more into it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Bye.